the real life struggle of being a left handed guitarist. You can't play anyone else's guitar, nor can you go into just any guitar shop and sit down and play one. So you have to improvise. You turn them over, upside down, backwards, anything you can do to get the satisfaction of playing a song. Starting out was rough, but as we progressed, it's grown into something more and something bigger. And now I have a house full of left-handed guitars and a kick-ass band to play with. My name's Travis, and I'm the guitar player in the AKA Scarecrow Project. The current band came together through several different makeups of bands throughout the years that I've been in, um, apart from AKA, uh, Sunday Morning Scarecrow, New Life, I uh, started playing acoustic uh, with Sean and Matt uh, through Sunday Morning Scarecrow uh, about three years ago and did a couple acoustic shows here and there and we had an electric show, full band show come up and we didn't have a bass player so I said if we need a bass player we should call Jason and called Jason up, um, had a couple conversations figured out a set list and then got together and jammed and it was phenomenal from the first beat from the first note and it's just like clockwork with us playing My musical influences are many. I like rock, I like country, I like blues, I like bluegrass. I really grew up on country, listening to country music with my parents. Um, they were huge music fanatics, and before I came along, as I found out, they really liked going to concerts. And uh, we always had a record player in the house, and we always had records on listening to Creedence Clearwater Revival. That was one of my, my biggest influences in, in terms of where I heard music first. And then just with being the youngest in the household, my older brother and sister really liked rock music, uh, listened to a lot of ACDC. I grew up on ACDC. ACDC is probably one of my biggest influences. And then I transitioned over to Led Zeppelin and Jimmy Page, again, another major influence. Love listening to Zeppelin. Um, lots of hair metal from the 80s. Transitioned over to uh, the 90s and to the grunge era. Uh, big on Nirvana, big on Pearl Jam, you know, all the classics. Equipment that I'm currently using, uh, as far as amplification, I have a custom hand-built, hand-wired tube amp. It is a blend of a JTM 45 from Marshall and a Fender Basement. It was built by Ken DiPietro, a guy down in Crescent Town, a phenomenal amp builder. Um, it sounds fantastic. It's pumped through a custom 212 cabinet which is aptly named Clementine and wrapped in orange Tolex. And it is a 45 watt tube monster that you can't dime. And if you do, it will peel the siding off of your neighbor's house. Uh, the guitars I'm using, uh, my primary guitar is a Gibson Les Paul Black Beauty. Uh, my second guitar is a couple of Epiphone. Les Pauls. I'm also using a Epiphone SG. I have my trusty old Fender Strat uh, in the background here, and I also have a ESP7 string.
As far as my effect, I'm running a standard pedal board with multiple pedals. I'm using a OCD overdrive, JHS distortion, I have a JHS reverb, also a couple of boss pedals. I have a delay and a chorus pedal. My wah pedal is a Morley Bad Horsey 2 switchless, and I also have a custom built talk box that Jay built for me out of a tube driver and a mini hot tone amp. It's running about 5 watts and it sounds fantastic. So, funny story, uh, band-related, uh, really going back many years, um, when we were very young in AKA, playing a bar down in Petersburg, West Virginia, and while we were actually in the middle of a set, this big burly biker guy brings his Harley in the bar on the dance floor, and that was just mind-blowing that we're in the middle of playing and this guy's in a bar, and riding his motorcycle and he was so big that nobody said anything to him he just left him do his own thing <laughs> so same night same place um with sean kyle um who is aptly not 21 at the time had a milk bottle of gallagher's milk that he had bought at sheets and with his food so we're setting up at like five o'clock six o'clock He's drinking this milk, and while we're playing all night, he's continuously drinking this bottle of milk. And I'm trying to figure out why. There's no way he's had that much milk, too. It's got to be warm. So we figure out at the end of the night that Sean was using a pitcher of beer to refill his milk bottle in the middle of the show. So. So I'm in another group as well. I have an acoustic duo act uh, with my wife Shannon and we are aptly named Screaming Blonde. Um, we play a mixture of country, blues, classic rock, which is now back in the 70s. <laughs> you know, everything now is classic from the 90s up, so um, I don't know if you would call that ancient, but uh, we play a mixture of stuff. and. You know, just really enjoy sharing music with her and being able to go out and play and, and, and make some rock and roll. I am very excited to have the opportunity to play at Rock the Mountains this year fantastic lineup of bands that we grew up listening to and playing their music looking forward to sharing the stage with all the other bands and rocking the mountain 